Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Mabomian gland test. So what we're going to be able to do is we'll be able to image the Mabomian glands using the infrared camera. What's very important is that the room should be in a dark state when we do this and what we'll do is I will start to set up and then we will actually change the lighting in the room. You'll see a small change in the lighting in the room which will allow us to image slightly better the Mabomian glands. Um, again, no need for any special tools or anything to do it. I'm going to use very simply uh, a finger to do it. We're going to ask the patient to look upwards and I'm going to try and grab the bottom lashes and we're going to actually just invert the lower uh, eyelid and that will expose the mabomian glands. So let's try and see how we go with this without further ado. We choose the mabomian gland test and what we'll do is we're going to get a screen for the mabomian glands and what I try and do is I try to focus before we do anything that the eye, the lower eyelid will be kind of like a little bit high because we're going to actually rotate it and that will bring it more or less into the middle of the screen. So we're going to have the, the actual lower lid slightly higher in the image and what we're going to do now is we're going to basically look up, please, straight up. And we're going to expose the Marbomian glands. Wow, excellent, perfect. You're doing great. Okay, so automatically when we clicked on the screen that we were doing the imaging, we clicked on the icon for the door and we exited the program and automatically imported the images into our window showing the right eye and the left eye. If we have a look at the two images, they're very similar. This seems to be slightly better in focus. We do a double click on this image. And now we're going to actually do four steps. In fact, they're going to be five steps, but we're going to choose. So the first step, we choose whether we are doing a lower lid or an upper lid. So automatically it defaults to the lower lid. We then have the mouse with a little blue dot. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to put it into the four corners where we can see the Marbonian glands and it's pretty easy to do, we've put them in. We now get a red uh, border and we've got these yellow handles which will allow us to actually create a complete border of where we can see the Marbomian glands and we have created the border. The mouse has now turned into a green dot and I'm going to put it, if I put it in the corner then it disappears. So we're going to put it slightly low and the idea here is to keep the left uh, mouse button depressed continuously and to move the mouse along the red border. It will not allow you to go out the red border so if you just keep it on the red border and press upwards that's fine. So we've pressed it, I've moved it to the left border and we're going to go right across. We're painting, painting, painting the whole time. What we've done here is we've actually now painted over where the Marbomian glands are and I'm going to continue the mouse movement up to the flag. Once we've clicked on the flag we have now set out the area that we are measuring and we can see that even though there are a few black spaces we fall in a normal amount. Okay, this is the scale for the mybography. And if we open this and we expand it, it's going to show us the actual library images. Now the library images are very important because we should be looking at the library images and the image that we've got to see how similar they are. And we can see that 
uh, when we look at the Mabomian glands, we should, it should look like a piano. It should look almost like we're looking at the keys on a piano. Black and white, black and white, black and white keys. And we can see that we've got those black and white keys over here. There's a slight break in the middle, but the computer has used its artificial intelligence and is telling us that there is basically a very low loss. The other windows that are grayed out will only become available once the actual image matches one of those windows. So if we're in the green, we are okay. If we go into the yellow, we've got a suspect problem. And if we're in the red, then obviously we have a, a higher uh, degree of uh, what they would call loss of the Marbomian function. And we would see hardly any Marbomian glands at all. So at the moment, this is what we're looking at. It's looking pretty normal and anywhere on the scale where it's green would be considered to be normal for the Marbomians. So it's a very easy test to do. It's very quick to do it. Um, everybody who's got their own um, experience with flipping an eyelid will be able to sometimes get it slightly bigger, a little bit smaller. What you're trying to do is to keep it as straight as possible. You don't really want to pull the eyelid down. You want to really flip it. And that's what we were able to do here. It worked very well and very clearly. So that basically brings us to the end of the mybography uh, section of this program.